Hello everyone and welcome to a different kind of video today. I haven't done a haul video in forever and now I have to sneeze. Now that my eyes are good and watery, let's film this haul video. I figured I could show you kind of what I've been doing. I'm making some changes, cutting back on things that I have to do um, for other people. Um, that way I can kind of just do whatever I want to do. So um, I need to reduce my stress levels, doctors say. So that's what I'm doing. And to reduce my stress levels, sometimes I shop. We are going to start with the card making and scrapbooking stuff. I'm going to take a we're going to take a peek at my scrapbook that I've never shown on YouTube, I don't think. Um and then look at some of my quilting and cross stitch products, projects. I'm going to start with the card making slash scrapbooking supplies. Um, I can't always show my card projects until it's released because the products that I'm receiving are, aren't released yet. So, but the stuff I buy is already released so I can do whatever I want. There's no, there's no secrets. So let's get into this. Um, I placed an order to a cherry on top crafts, which is awesome because they have free shipping over $49. Excellent prices, totally comparable prices to everywhere else, but you get free shipping after 49 bucks. You have to use a code. They also have awesome sales regularly. So I'm on their like email list so that I can get those notifications. I will link as much as I can in the description box. Um, but I'm always really kind of terrible at that. So if you ever have questions about something, just leave me a comment. I'm always good about comments and talking a lot. The 49 and Market Spectrum Sherbert collection is amazing. It's beautiful. And so I had purchased things from that collection in the past, but I had to pick up a few more things so there's frames for my scrapbook pages, and these are a ton. You get 36 Mitch and Mitch, mix and match uh, die cut frames. So here's a look at what is looking in the package. And I just love these colors. Let's open them up. Oh, I like the off-white or the, the gray. And these watercolor pieces. Heck yeah. Heck yeah! And there's just the same thing, but in the pink colorway. Next! More frames. This one is also from 49 at Market, but the Vintage Artistry Essentials Collection. And these have stitches and like newspaper cutouts. So I thought these would be really fun to use on some scrapbook pages. Oh, and they're like, they're kind of vintagey looking and they already have the stitches in there. I love how they do the, the zigzag here in certain portions of it. That's pretty cool. Next. Okay. Tim asked for thank you cards for his roofing business like years ago. And some of you sent them to us and I'm so grateful because I didn't make any. <laughs> um, but I think I'm going to fulfill that request from him. He doesn't ask me for much. So um, this is what I've picked out. This is from Pink Fresh Studio. Um, and this is the Built on Dreams. I saw a video with uh, uh, Carissa Wiley, she's she was using this set. It was super cute. She made like a gingerbread house cookie. It was really cute, so you should check it out. Um, but this is the Built on Dreams, and then this one is actually the In the Meadow. And I need the die for this. When I purchased this, the dies were all sold out everywhere. So I, I need that die. But this is like beautiful. My idea, my vision is to make the house 
and then have some like foliage coming down from the roof of the house. Almost like you have stuff growing in your gutters because that's what my house looks like. So I'm just gonna make our house and then it's gonna say thank you. So my husband can use them. And I just love these flowers. I don't know what they are, but they're gorgeous. And I love things that can be like just green, just green, like greenery, because I like green. Next is also from Think Fresh Studio. These are the Rainbow Sentiments. It's 41 pieces and they're already pre-cut sentiments. Here is a look at the back of the packaging so you can see everything that's in there. This is so much easier. You know, you just kind of reach for a quick sentiment. So if you need a card like really quick, having these and any kind of pre-done sentiment, the bomb. Oh yes, let's just open it all up. I'm not going through all of these. You can check it out for yourself. But they're just, you know, cardstock, pre-cut, pre-stamped sentiments. Totally awesome. Next! Okay, Heidi Swap came out with a really cute um, rainbowy watercolory kind of collection. I don't know what it's called. Please bear with me. I don't know. It doesn't say. Dang, dang it. All right. Well, these are Heidi Swap and I'll link it below. Um, but they're also just sticker sentiments or uh, phrases for your scrapbook pages. And they just pop off. They're just little and they're like thick. They're meaty. I like it. And I love the colors. And it has like a, you know, like a summer, sunshine, happy, relaxing vibe. I love it. Next. Totally off topic. Halloween. <laughs> Always love Halloween products, projects. Halloween is just a lot of fun around in this house. Um, and so I picked up the Simple Story 6x8. And I'm really digging 6x8 paper pads because I have the 6x8 scrapbook. So having six by eight papers is just awesome. I love this plaid here. Let's open this up. All right. Oh, I love the greens. Oh, the candy corn. I don't know when this came out, but I sure love the imagery. Oh, there's that plaid. I like it. Oh, I love the houses. And you get two designs of each, so it's 12 designs, 24 papers. Awesome. And then I got this Ulta New 2-in-1 Permanent and Repositionable Glue Pen. Here's the packaging. Their packaging is adorable. And then here it is. Let's, let's test it out. What can we glue? Let's glue something. Scrap. We're just gonna glue these two pieces of paper together. Oh, that is nice. Oh, a girl could get used to that. Oh, that's nice. All right, we're just gonna stick that down and see how that goes. Okay, so before we move on to quilting, sewing, and cross stitch, I'm gonna show you my my scrapbook progress. Um, <laughs> I don't make a lot of scrapbook pages, mostly because I don't have a lot of energy these days and I need to devote that really to Dexter. And whatever's left over goes to my crafting. Um, this is a Simple Stories flip book. If you haven't seen these, they fit a ton of stuff. Um, they're pretty much like the old um, creative memories where they have the, the prongs, uh, which I have a few of those. And, but you can fit so much stuff in here instead of the rings. So I wanted to try it out. Um, this is my cover page for 2022. I like to take pictures of my son. This is him playing out in the snow. I love dividing the picture into multiple pockets. And I hate my journaling, so I've covered up um, most of it just so you know. But this is like our our year so far. 
Um, we didn't have a good February and March was pretty rocky. April sucked a little bit. <laughs> May um, was a little bit better and we're, we're moving into June. We're moving into June. Hopefully um, my health gets better sooner rather than later. But here is a look into my current scrapbook. And this just usually sits right up here open so I can see it and be reminded to do, to work on the pages. So if you're done, if you're a paper crafter, I'm done with paper crafting stuff. I'm gonna move on to quilting and sewing and cross-stitching type projects. So here we go. I guess I don't need these. I just put everything in this 31 bag so I can carry it upstairs to my comfy chair um, and take my projects on the go to like doctor's appointments and things. Yes, I needed something besides scrolling the internet. So this is my solution to the scroll, okay? First, in order to do cross stitch again, I needed to be able to see the projects, okay? So here is my pattern that you can get from Fat Quarter Shop. But um, the metal piece behind it is basically a pattern keeper. It's just a piece of metal and it has magnets so that you can put your pattern on this piece of metal and then kind of focus your attention on certain sections or certain parts of the pattern. I don't want to give her pattern away, but, um, and then as I go through it, I will highlight the stitches that I've completed with my friction marker. Um, and that way these are the stitches that have already been done. In fact, I can, I know that I stitched these last night in bed because they're all done. So this is my project. Um, I'm, I'm doing it on 14 count Adia which I ordered a bunch of cross-stitching fabric, but it's just not here yet. Um, but this has been really great. I also ordered this big one because this will hold your pattern uh, full sheet of paper. It holds your pattern full sheet of paper and then it has like some extra pockets on this side and it's got like a nice damask um, fancy thing. But honestly, I think this is kind of too fancy for my needs. I also purchased this line magnifier, which is super handy. It's also a magnet and it will um, basically magnetize or <laughs> magnetize. It will magnify um, whatever part of the pattern you're trying to focus on. So um, I really actually really like this um, little setup here. And then I just throw this in my bag. Also, Dana Joy and I were talking about how we were getting back into cross stitch and she mentioned to me how she bought these glasses. And so I was like, you know, I use something similar in the dental industry to see into your mouth really closely. They're called loops um, and they can be quite expensive. These are not expensive. They're like 17 bucks and uh, they, you just wear them. They're a little heavy. They're not, they're $17 or $18, so they're not perfect. But these have helped improve my vision so much that I can see, I can see all the missing stitches from where I couldn't see them. <laughs> okay, I've had these glasses for a few days now. And let me tell you one thing is it comes with a strap that you can replace the strap with, uh, or the ear pieces with a strap, do that. It takes a lot of the weight off of the bridge of your nose so it feels more comfortable. Also, make sure you go through the lenses because just because you want to magnify the most, sometimes that magnification could be too much for the working distance. So go through the lenses and see which one you like the best. And so now I can't live without them. And then um, I bought this at Hobby Lobby and it just keeps my essentials, thread conditioner, thread, scissors, um, seam ripper if I need it, 
um, cloth to clean my glasses and then my needles and this is just a um, mag this is a piece of metal a magnet so that I can store my needles and access them quickly and so I really love having this little thing in the curl stitch bag so floss I have and I've always used DMC floss when I buy the cheaper kind of bag of floss from the craft store, that stuff tends to break. Like if you pull it too hard, it will literally snap off on your project. That's what happens to the with the cheap floss. But DMC, I've always had, I mean, it does not. I use a thread conditioner, um, but I've never really had a problem with DMC floss. I've heard that Aurifil has floss that's really good. This is Lori Holt's uh, B Basics, and it was on Amazon for way cheap. Um, typically, this floss is about $5 a spool, which is a lot more than DMC. I know that it come, there's more that comes on the spool than in a skein of DMC. I wanted to see if this more expensive floss was any nicer to use, more luxurious. Uh, to use than the DMC. So I bought this and it was such a good deal on Amazon. It's a hundred dollars worth of floss for like 60 bucks. So um, I had to get it. And I got all these great colors and I can find out if this more expensive floss is worth the money. You know, let's open it. Doesn't look any different. Maybe I need to get my glasses out so I can see. Yep, looks like floss. It's nice that it's already on a spool. I usually have to buy extra spools for the DMC floss to be stored. This is already on a spool, so that's one thing to consider, although the spools are like a dollar for 20 of them or something. paper crafting scissors. I'll use it on a project and get back to you. A Cherry on Top Crafts also has uh, sewing and cross stitch supplies and quilting supplies and so I bought this 12 and a half inch ruler. This is Ulfa Frosted. Um, I love these. They're not yellow and ugly like the colors that you see usually in the craft store um, and it's not distracting. So I really have been, in, I've, I've used this already. I've been loving it because I've been making uh, 12 and a half inch quilt blocks with us uh, on a sew with me that I'm about to show you. So I've been using these, fabulous. I'm also doing a quilt along. I bought the fabric directly from the, the pattern maker. Her name is Brittany Lloyd and it's Lo and Behold Stitchery. This is what the, quilt is going to look like and I made a cross stitch pattern to match this quilt so that I could make a pillow with a popsicle on it and I'm going to stitch it up so if you're interested in a cross stitch pattern with the popsicle I will let you know when it's available on my website I'm just going to put the pdf on my website so you can stitch it uh, along with me if you want I haven't completed it yet so it might be a few days um, waiting for some supplies to get in but keep checking back if you would like to stitch a popsicle this is the cov uh, summer pop quilt along that I'm gonna do um, and so you buy I have bought the patterns or the um, kit directly from her and it's already given you this is the backing and the binding and all of the popsicle colors and it's all ready to be cut. It's going to start June 6th, so right now that's next Monday, so I better get to starting because the first week we're going to do cutting and then the next week we start to piece all the popsicles together. So if you're interested in quilting along with me or lo and behold stitchery, um, check her out on Instagram. She posts regularly there. I know she's based in North Carolina. Uh, I will be keeping up with my progress on Instagram.
So if you are an Instagram user, you can keep up with the daily progress over on Instagram. Along the same lines of quilting and organizing things, um, I found this on Amazon. I know there are several different kinds of quilters, planners. There's planners, like regular planners that are geared towards quilters. I just wanted something to keep track of my quilts that I have in progress, my whips. And um, they're the information that goes along with them. This was like $20 and it's called the Quilters Project Planner. And it's, it's just that. It goes through, the first chapter goes through what you, how or how you use this planner and everything that goes along with it. And then you start planning. The best part is this page, I think. You get to color these are it goes for 12 projects and you get to color your way through the progress so this is the quilt along quilt that i'm doing and i've planned it and i've selected my fabrics actually Brittany did but those are done for me and then the next thing is to cut which we are planning to do next week so this will help me keep track of where i am on each project and then at the end, you'll get like a rainbow thing that'll look really cool. And then the project page itself gives you all the information that you need to keep track of while you're quilting or when you reference back to the quilt or the fun popsicle pillow that you're also making to match the quilt. So I think this is awesome. It also has a reference section in the way back with important things that I tend to go back to frequently, like how to do the binding properly, certain measurements, um, easy math, things like that, backing. It, it's just a nice little reference if you would like something to keep track of your projects. Projects! Okay, so I'm gonna do the quilt along popsicle quilt. These are all going, there, I have a list. <laughs> I keep them typically in these um, 12 by 12 iris bins. I guess they're larger than 12 by 12. Um, this one is for Tim. This is a quilt that I uh, put together easily. It's an easy quilt. It's not something hard, but it's bear paws and it's using the, so the fabric is by Sweetwater and it's called Timber. And it's basically, you know, they, ha they have some words, some gingham, some little cross stitch fabric, um, but it's mainly, they have tents and trees, uh, fish, and some more manly type colors. I love this orange. This one was one of my favorite prints from that. Yeah, so Timber from Sweetwater and Moda Fabrics. This one, probably gonna start it after the quilt along. Then this one is what I've been doing for the last like 10 months. Um, it's from Erica Arnt, Arnett, Arnett. Um, she's ho Confessions of a Homeschooler. Um, so I get a lot of different information from her, but she is a quilter and a knitter and a crocheter. Um, and these are her blocks. Um, it's called a Sew With Me and she's doing very simple beginner blocks, which is what I needed. And so this is so far, I'm using a layer cake and some additional fabric. Um, it's also by Sweetwater. This one's called Spring Chicken. And I've been posting about this on Instagram. Um, so you can find more pictures there. But they're just basic blocks, um, all with the spring chicken fabric. I'm trying to kind of do it with the layer cake. So some of them are kind of scrappy. But that's okay. I'm learning a lot with this process and I think it's fun and the fabric is just so cute. I really enjoy making the blocks. So that's that. I also am part of the Sweetwater tag um, subscription. So they, they send me tags and I have these really cute matching tags to go with my quilt. So when I finish it, I can sew my name right on the back. I think that's it. I think that's all that has come in from my, my recent purchases. 
Um, lots of projects to do, lots of, lots of sewing. I do have some felt projects coming in the future and some more card making projects, especially Tim's thank you cards. Watch out for a video featuring those products that you've seen in this haul. And until next time, well, I'll be. That's real nice. How do you make it repositionable? Allow glue to set until tacky. I can do that. Maybe.